Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 1. Last time we fought the devil himself, and today we're gonna... We're gonna finish the game! We're gonna finish the game! The games! <laughs> the games. The games. It would be kind of fucked up if we just went to a little yellow bear. <laughs> I, I hope that doesn't happen. I wish. I wish that we had a... I can't think of his name, and that completely ruins my joke. Who's playing Christopher Robin in the new movie? He played Obi-Wan Ewan, Kenobi. Ewan McGregor. There you go. I want him in Kingdom Hearts. Why not? Hello, hello there. Hello there. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> no, one of my favorite <laughs> pictures is when he's like, he sees him at the end of the trailer, and he's like, Tigger has been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, today, we still have a little bit left to do. We have to do some Pooh Bear shenanigans, so... For the next two parts, we're going to be dealing with Pooh Bear, and yeah, doing some not-so-fun mini-games, I'll put it that way, so. But we don't have a whole lot left. We don't have much left until we get to Ansem, so, yeah. Ansem ain't that wise. So, yeah, uh, I don't really have much to say about Winnie the Pooh. This is a world that exists inside of a book. And there's a yellow bear. Uh, can I end the did part you ever there? Watch the, did you ever watch the cartoon when you were a kid? I used to watch it all the time. We might have talked about this, but it's been so long. I have, <laughs> but it's like a, it's been a very long time since I've watched it, and I was very, very young. So yeah, I used to I used to love Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid. Um, I watched the cartoon, but it's also this one with like puppets. They did as well. I think it's called The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Where they had like puppets, I watched that one. The, I had some. I watched the uh, Tigger movie. I used to love that when I was a kid. Um, I was all about that Winnie the Pooh. I used to have. Well, I still. Well, I mean, I think my mom still has it, but it's like a Winnie the Pooh teddy bear. And I had this thing when I was little. And my mom says I used to be like addicted to. It was a Tigger like toy, and it would bounce and stuff. And mom used to say whenever I was like really little, because you know, how, like babies have those things you put them in, but, like like a little seat thing, and they jump and bounce in them. Yeah. Like, yeah. she would put that Tigger in front of me, and I would just go fucking ballistic with that thing. So, I don't know. I mean, I do like Winnie the Pooh. I really want to go see Christopher Robin when that comes out, because that looks really good, so. I don't know. It's by far one of those things, like, I definitely, the older I've gotten, it's the less, like, I know about Winnie the Pooh, I guess. Like, I like it. It's cool, but it's just... I just don't have a lot of nostalgia with it, I guess. I don't know. I do like Winnie the Pooh's design, though. He makes me smile whenever I see him. Him and his little freaky walk, so. <laughs> like, Win and Pooh is literally just a crack addict for honey. That's what I owe. That's my favorite thing about him, so. He just can't get enough of that shit. Pooh, please stop. Do you like honey? Or are you just like, eh? It's alright. Like, I'll eat it if it's there, but I don't actively seek it out. I'm not a fan, admittedly. If if it's like in a yogurt or something, I'll probably eat it. But like, I don't eat it on its own. I love how these are just still images of poo yeah, eating Yeah, because it's too <laughs> hard to edit and make that, apparently. But, uh... I, see... I'm, I'm not a yogurt guy. Never have been. Just not a. No, no, no. That's sacrilege! One of my favorite things, and I have seen someone do this and it makes me feel terrible, is somebody actually just took that picture of Pooh eating that honey and they made the honey white. So I was like. Oh no. Yeah, I was like, who does that? <laughs> really? Come on, guys. I used to think Piglet was a girl when I was a kid. Really? Why do you think kind of Piglet was a girl? It's pink. <laughs> that doesn't make he's a. That doesn't mean he's a girl. I was a kid. Come on, Philip. Why are you stereotyping Piglet? He can't help yeah. it. How dare you, you baby? <laughs> I saw pink as that's a girl. <laughs> I will say one thing that uh, I one thing I've noticed about Winnie the Pooh, and this isn't really a note, well, like a big thing, but the Winnie the Pooh music definitely sounds the most Mario and Luigi RPG-esque, 
I guess, in terms of music. Like, you could probably put some of the music from this world into Mario RPG, and I would not think of anything about it, and because it fits. I want to replay for well done to view, but I'm waiting for the switch port. Isn't that meant to be like the iPhone or whatever version? Just port it. No, it's all right. No. DS versions. I can't find my DS copy though. It's somewhere here. It's a shame because if I found my DS copy, I'd probably just play it right now. <laughs> In the middle of the part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just doing music blasting. <laughs> Just twist it, blasting down my mouth. I think I've ever seen you before. Doesn't Jim Cummings do like most of the people in the Winnie the Pooh world? Because I know he does Pooh. I know he yeah. does Tigger. He does Tigger. He does Eeyore. No, that's um, that's uh, uh d d d d it's whoever voices Optimus Prime who does Eeyore. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's definitely Pooh and Tigger. Um, he's obviously Pete in a, but we won't see Battle Cage. Yeah, too. he does Doctor Robotnik and Sad I am. I think I don't know if he does them in Adventures, but now he for sure does them in Sad I am. Nah, yeah, he does them in Sad I am. Yeah. Jim Cummings has done so much stuff. Remember when people before Sad I am was good, but it really was. <laughs> I think it's okay. It's it's okay. It is weird though, cause like I remember back in like 2008, those dark days, people were like in love with Sad AM, and it's weird. It's like I don't mind it. Like I think it's okay. Like it's but I'd say it's probably the best Sonic cartoon. It's not saying much, mind you, but still. I mean, it's literally its only competition is probably Boom and AOSTH, cause X is awful. Underground is I, I like Underground, but it's more cause of how bad it is. So. Yeah, he's a lot of he's a lot of Disney uh, people. Um, but there's a lot of Star come on you. So did you ever see that? I saw the movie. I saw the pilot movie they did. I used to have that on uh, VHS as a kid, and I used to watch it all the time. But I never actually saw the series. I just had the movie, which I think was like the first three episodes. It's it was kind of like a a Buzz Lightyear cartoon, and it was uh, pretty good. Well, the movie was alright. I wouldn't mind if, like, because we know, like, in 3, they're going to make little, like, Easter eggs and references to all their stuff. I wouldn't mind if they made a couple of references to the cart. Like, I've never watched it, but if they made a reference to the cartoon, that'd be pretty cool. I do- one thing I actually do like, and we brought this up about the demo, is, um, how they make more jokes and stuff. That's definitely something they should have done a long time ago, I think. Because they're just- it's funny. Like, I don't know. Well, for, for cutscene direction and the free demos, just like, it flowed a lot better, and it kind of like, it, it didn't feel like completely like the movie, but it kind of felt like more accurate, compared to like, awkward KH scenes usually. Because I think when KH tries to force humor, it never works. Like, it's always kind of like, wow, that was cringy <laughs> humor, I think. But, well, I mean, there's a couple of exceptions, obviously, but I mean, majority of the time I'm just like, I don't know. But the weird thing is, it's changed, because... I think it's since back cover, because back cover had a lot of scenes that were actually genuinely kind of funny, so. Yeah. I don't know if it what it, if it's the writing or just the, just the localization, they're doing something differently now. Because it something about Cage has been different since that since 2.8 came out specifically. Direction's been a lot better. Yeah, it's been a lot better. Like the scenes actually are a lot more funnier. They seem a lot more well written. Even the voice acting is better. Yeah, after after DDD is kind of like who wrote this and who directed this, because this is really awkward and weird, even for KH standards. Because it's like, you hear, like, Haley Joel- Joel Haley Joel Osment's good in pretty much every KH game, I think, except for DDD. It's weird, because in, in free he sounds really good. It's like, what did they do to you in DDD? He sounded awful in that game. Like, he sounded terrible. It, it had to be voice direction, or is him trying to voice a younger Sora again, and he just did not know how to do it? I, well, see, even if that's not an excuse, because he did it in Recom, and he was pretty okay in that, so... I don't know. I think it was a voice direction thing. I'm guessing that person who was the head voice director got fired, I'm assuming, so... DDD. <laughs> Get off my lawn, DDD. 
<laughs> Get off my lawn, DDD. You know you can't take my door to the prom. <laughs> it's ever so dark in here. Why can you stay with that cage too, fella? <laughs> he had a nice job and everything. <laughs> this DDD guy's unreliable. Look at the DDD guy. He has flow motion and he's a bit of a wreck. Yeah. Cage 2 had the drive forms and reaction commands at least. All DDDs make balloons all day. <laughs> he's literally... He's a clown. In more ways than one. <laughs> And there's Optimus Prime himself, floating in the water. I can't believe he was fucking dead. <laughs> One of my favorite things is, like, it's in Transformers 3, and it's, um, Optimus Prime is fighting Megatron, and he's, like, about to kill Megatron, and he's like, GIVE ME YOUR FACE! And he grabs Optimus Prime by the face and kills him, and then I'm like, oh my god, this guy <laughs> voiced Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore looks like something that could be in Legend of Zelda and kind of fit, I think. I don't know. Like, I could see Link running around in this world, and it wouldn't really shock me. Well, if it was like OT Link, probably, it wouldn't look that weird. Now, if it was like Twilight Princess... Zelda's Link, one of... Z Zelda and Metroid's one of, like, the few Nintendo franchises yeah. where you could do, like, a really dark spit on it and make it work. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one. Like... Maybe F-Zero? I don't- well, that would imply that F-Zero ever gets another game, so I shouldn't say that, so. But, you know. I'm trying to think, like, a Nintendo franchise you could actually kind of make dark and make it work. Well, like, I can't say Paper Mario- Paper Mario's dark at part- my voice cracked. Paper Mario's dark at parts, but it's not really- it's a Mario thing, so it can't really be dark, so, yeah. I, d I mean, like, you could probably make a Zelda game like Berserk. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, work. Berserk. I, I think that's yeah, a bit of a strip. Yeah, you could. No, like, they're not gonna let a Zelda game where Zelda gets raped or anything. That's not gonna No, happen. that's not what Berserk is. What do you mean, like, gory? There's tons of, like, dark... Yeah, kind of, like, kind of that dark imagery you could easily do. He's, he even has a fairy pal. <laughs> like... I don't know. I don't think Zelda and gore... Like, I, for me, I, I would like it, you know, because it'd be cool, but, like, I, I can never see them doing that. I don't think. I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. Anything is possible, but, you know. This part of this game is very annoying, because Pooh has to follow you, and he takes so long. And this is worse in Chain of Memories, because he takes even longer. And it's... <laughs> uh... Lock on to Pooh to make him slowly waddle towards you. And for some reason, I didn't lock on to him, and I, I kind of forgot you had to lock on to him, I think. And I was like, come on, Pooh. Come on, I just want to play Pooh Sticks. Have you ever played the baseball game before? Like, the really, really hard baseball game? <laughs> Imagine if that's his mini game in K3, just hand Sorrow a baseball bat. <laughs> and the game just explodes. Just like, fuck. I don't know how this world is gonna work in 3. What can you do in Kingdom Hearts 3 with this? Like, I can get bringing it back for Cage 2, but that's it. Like, what are you gonna do in 3 with Winnie the Pooh? Unless Sora... Or Laura... The only thing I could see them doing is, because of this demo, they brought up, like, young Xehanort, like, split the Toy Story world in 2, is if they're gonna split Winnie the Pooh in 2. Mm. Is he going to finally burn the 100 acre wood down? God, I hope so. You know, when we get to 3, that is going to be the part of that episode of that world is actually in the game. Because he's going to burn down 100 acre wood. If that happens, I I think I'd just like, I'd probably die of laughter. If that happens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy HMK a pizza. Thunder. I just use magic on it. He, he's going too slow. I almost put some really like demonic music, like Pooh's chasing Sora down, but I was like, whatever. I think it's more creepy with the happy music. Come on, Pooh! Hurry up! 
<laughs> what was he doing? He's just standing there, <laughs> looking menacing at me. He's just standing there. Like, look at his walk, man. Fire. Look at him. You can shoot Pooh with fire, and it does nothing fire. to him. But Winnie the Pooh is the strongest Disney character, because he can withstand lightning, fire, and even gravity, and it does nothing to him. It should have been Pooh versus Pit, not Sora versus Pit. <laughs> Who actually ended up winning that? Sora, obviously. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not even a contest, like, Sora's, like, so fucking broken. <laughs> True. Everyone knew it was going to be Sora. Because, like, he's broke. He's, like, one, he's one of the most broken uh, game characters. Sora had a dog with a shield and a duck with no pants, and he beat the devil pretty easily. Pit had to have a giant robot to fight the devil, and he still lost. Yeah. So. yeah. Can we please get Uprising 2? Come on, Nintendo. And also, with the death battle rules where, like, they have to fight on their own, they're not allowed any outside help. Sora still has limit form, a like, lot on his own. And like he cut a skyscraper by himself on his own, and he has like all these key, these keyblade uh, moves on his. Like he's, he's just. He's OP. Pit didn't even have a chance. Winnie the Pooh is a terrible friend. Why would you ever want to be friends with him? He just destroys stuff, you know. Yeah, he's dead. Poor Rabbit, man. He literally is just... You know what it is? <laughs> yeah. Winnie the Pooh is Spongebob, and Rabbit is Squidward. That's what it is. That's a good comparison. I always, I think Spongebob is more annoying than Squid or than Winnie the Pooh, though. I don't like Winnie the Pooh. I like Spongebob until, like, later seasons, and then he just gets really annoying. Like, he, he gets to the point where he's just, like, obnoxious and not even, like, funny annoying, and I'm just like, nah. What's Al so happy about? <laughs> I don't know. Screw Al. What does he know? No thanks. <laughs> so get lost, Squidward. Yeah, I forgot a torn page, so uh, we're gonna go and uh, do some stuff, I think. When's this? I know there's a cut coming up. Come on, video. Cut for me. There you go. There you go. Did you grind your screen or something? Because last time, like on the last part, you're in 17 hours, and now I said 20. Like, where did those three hours, like, go? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't- Well, I don't know, actually. Where did they go? I don't remember. <laughs> I probably just left my game run- Well, no, because then I'd be leaving the game running for three hours. I know I grinded for a little bit, but I know it wasn't for three hours. I did it for maybe, like, 20 minutes and then stopped. I don't- I know- I'm, I'm just to be honest with you, I don't really know what happened. Uh... Find out what happened next time when I try to think of what happened. <laughs> what happened?